brother river cast on one by one rib turn your dial as far past zero as it can go all the buttons are normal everything plain no buttons pushed in on the river turn it to pass zero slide lever on number two levers down hold levers up lily buttons off uh, bring up I've only brought up 40 here but bring up your needles one by one and then you want to make sure that you've got the opposite ones um, on so I've started with can vaguely see here number 40 in which case making sure I've got my river on P I would bring up 38 so that the needles are missing each other brought up the wrong one there the needles are missing each other as so got all mine up on the river and you'll notice they're a bit floppy that really is not a concern they're staying up I've brought my needles up here as well and then you run the carriage across to align the needles and then go ahead and cast on. Now I'm going to try and show you how to do the uh, yarn. Take your piece of yarn, you lay it in the gap there, she says, pull it up lay it in the gap and if it doesn't fall through which mine has give it a blow then you you bring the yarn through round and it's behind the uh, connector And then it is just a matter of holding the tail end and knit across. I usually hang a clip on the tail end, makes it easier to get the uh, river comb in. Take a river comb, which I have here. Now, leave the wire in, bring it, let me see what I'm doing, bring the river, up, uh, river comb up between the beds. Now I happen to know that this river comb stretches from needle 65 to needle 65. So I bring it up through the beds so that the is sticking up let me see that it's sticking up near 65 I gently ease out the wire if I can get hold of it pull the wire out and as I pull the wire out just move that so you can see what I'm doing as I pull the wire out I push up from the other end I carefully push the river comb up it's up and I put the wire back in I've got bent wires so I have to fiddle them a bit but I don't take the wire out of the river comb because then you haven't got to faff about then push your river comb down pull it down check your needles now on the other end of the bed because we've knitted a row we're now going to do the tubular rows which involve you pressing one part button in and then
then bringing the part button up on the other side and this is to give you circular or tubular rows at the bottom of your rib so I do one two three rows and then I hang my weights outside the in the middle and then outside obviously if this is a wider piece I'd hang more and this is where you need to tug because there is a tendency for the rubber comb at this end to sort of get jammed with that little um, end of the wire that you pull out so just give it a tug now you release your part button put that one back down bring the slide which won't slide one-handed back onto one set your tension dial whatever tension you want I'm thinking this is rather a thick four ply I'm going to go for three and I'll go for three it might not be enough three and knit the first row might be a little difficult to knit but then again it wasn't tug on your weights at the end there just for a couple of rows at least just tug it down to make sure that river comb is not catching on anything and then just knit however many rows you want for your rib and true to form I've not set my row counter so I've no idea how many rows I've done anyway we'll we'll sort of pretend that's roughly a weld then to make life easier I bring all the ribbon needles up and all it does is just make it ever so slightly easy uh, to transfer the needles uh, the stitches off the needles I have got two transfer carriages and I keep telling myself I will get them out and use them but I always forget until I'm actually ready to transfer um, so th this is relatively quick when you haven't got a, a tripod in the way so you just transfer all those up and then carry on set your uh, drop the ribber I take off the ribber weights and the ribber comb and uh, hand claw weights usually one at the bottom in the middle that stays there and then just move the side ones up so that's basic cast on one by one <laughs> 